All right, guys. Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day today. Today is going to be a bit of, a, I don't know, it's kind of a weird video. It's kind of a bit ranty in a way. I wanted to overall talk about kind of brands texting us and what that's about and that that is like the new thing. And honestly, I recently found this out or like experienced this because I was trying to get deals for Black Friday and all that. So I've been, you know, on different sites here and there and when you go to sign up for your email not only do they want you to sign up for your email now they want you to give your phone number and usually I'm pretty like mm -mm -mm no one's like gonna scam me no one's gonna get my stuff but I want a deal and sometimes I know that's like part of the thing so I've been you know signing up for a few of those and I have thoughts I just have a lot of thoughts and I have one brand specifically to kind of like what the mm, to seriously stop harassing me yo <laughs> that's definitely how it feels but anyway <laughs> that's kind of the intro into what we're about to get into just so you kind of know what's going on I do want to say like I did volunteer my you know phone number that's my thing and you can text them to stop. I just think it's interesting how these different brands have handled texting. I do think that there is a way that, you know, texting someone about a new deal or a new product launch or if something's back in stock that truly was something that people were wanting, that makes sense to me. And I could see like if you're a big supporter of a brand or, you know, you missed out on the past restocks or whatever, you might want that little text message. Maybe that works best for you than like having your email. Text is definitely way more now than I feel like email is like emails very work text is very casual and so I can see that it it could be a win-win for both parties so I wouldn't be opposed necessarily from getting text messages from brands obviously I gave my phone number but how brands have handled each of these situations is very very different and I thought we could kind of go through that and I'd love to know of course any of your guys's experiences with this what do you guys think on this of brands like kind of going more about marketing for texting and I I want to say if you are someone who has a problem with shopping if you are someone who uh, finds feelings of FOMO do not and I repeat do not sign up for the freaking text because that is what they're trying to do they email you constantly about new releases about new promos about why you need this about this being restocked and of course they text you a link and so if that is gonna be something that's gonna be hard to resist don't even let yourself have to make the decision in the moment when the FOMO is hitting you just get off the text list. If you're on them, get off them. I mean, one of the big things people say is like unsubscribe from all your emails. Text, it should be higher up on the list of stop doing because it's like way more in your face, way more personal. You're hanging out, doing something with your family, get a text. You're way more likely to check that, I feel like, than email. Especially because, thank the Lord, Google, you know, separates your emails from like primary and like spam essentially <laughs> and promotions and whatnot. All right, so let's talk about this. I have signed up for six different brands email lists. One was Glamlight, one was Colored Rain, one was Ritual Defeat, one was Yensa, one was Milani, and one was Dot. Now I'm gonna give you some statistics really fast. With Colored Rain, I can't for some reason. I know they've definitely texted me a lot, but I don't know if they're sending them from different numbers or what's going on. When I look back at the past history, it's only the one, so I don't know if they go back or however their system's set up. I can't see the past text like I can with everyone else. So they're the only ones I'm not going to, but they do text you quite a bit, I feel like. Okay, so first off, Glam Light. I signed up for the Glam Light text on September 12th. This is when the Ice Cream Dream palette was launching, I believe. And since September 12th, I'm filming this on the day it's going up, I think. So December 5th today. Since then, I've gotten seven text messages, which I think is fairly reasonable, especially because they've had releases since then. So I got my initial text from them. And then on the 12th, they let me know that the Ice Cream Dream collection was live. Then on the 17th of October, so almost a whole month later, or actually past a whole month, they let me know about a 25% off sale going on. And I thought it was really nice because they had my name in it. I know that's probably just some algorithm, but I, it felt a little bit more personal. Then they texted on the 6th of November to let you know that the Foodie Box, the Mexico edition was available. So a new product, a new thing. It felt like there's like an actual reason to text 
texted me potentially. Then on the 13th, they texted me about a holiday deal. This is the foodie box, the dessert edition. Then they texted on the 26th, which is like Black Friday or getting into Black Friday, talking about Black Friday sales. They texted on Monday, which is, Monday was like the 30th or something. And that was about, oh, Cyber Monday. So they texted about Cyber Monday, just one text, you guys, one text. And then they also texted me today about another foodie box. So I feel like overall, I'm I'm satisfied with that. I feel like each message made sense. So A1, I feel like this is how uh, text messages and brands, if you're gonna sign up for them, like you're making that choice, you wanna be in the know, you wanna know what's going on with the brand and be a little bit more up to date. I feel like this is the way to do it. It makes sense to me. This. <laughs> This makes sense, okay? And with this, I wanna know, I haven't been getting emails in my kind of primary thing because that's something that I've noticed. I don't know why some emails go in your primary and some go into promotions, but for whatever reason, with my interactions with buying from this brand, I didn't start getting primary emails in my Google. Just thought I'd note that because it's not the case. I'm building all this up just so you know, building this up to get to the monster of these companies, honestly. Okay, Ritual Defeat, this one was kind of a lot, okay? November 20th, I started getting the messages from them, and since then, I've gotten 12 messages. Now, I'm a little bit more invested in Ritual Defeat, so I don't mind as much, I think, and because their products, they're very limited edition, <laughs> when they say they're limited edition, they actually are, so I could see wanting to be notified of like different restocks and whatnot. Plus, I will give a tiny bit of leeway, the tiniest bit, you guys, the tiniest, bit to some of these brands because of the holidays and like Black Friday, but still some of them need to get it together. Next, I have been signed up for Yensa's text messages. And since November 9th, I have gotten four messages from them. That is it, four messages, okay? And three of those messages were basically to tell me about Black Friday. So, you know, they were really making sure if you wanted the deal, you were knowing that it was ending or starting or whatnot. Next, we have Milani and Milani I've been subscribed to the longest, oh no, the second longest. Milani has been since October 19th. And since then, from then, I've had 16 messages, which may seem like a lot, but again, this is from October 19th. I still feel like it's a little bit much because it's not like they're coming out with new products constantly or doing different boxes or whatnot. More than anything, it's just kind of like this reminder email of like, hey, 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 you know, kind of tugging on your coattails. Not my favorite, but this is, we're getting to it right now, Dossier, okay? Dossier, a perfume brand. Let me tell you, perfumes, okay? I have been subscribed to their text messages since the 15th of November, and I have since then gotten 17 text messages from them. Okay? It's almost every day, bro. Okay, what the hell is going on? Perfumes, perfumes. Not to mention all the emails that I've also gotten from them. And this is where we're gonna get into like the real crux of this video. Seriously, I just have questions for the people over at Dossier, okay? I think that they got the person that ran the marketing for Spectrum and then they went over into the perfume company Dossier because I feel slightly harassed. I know I signed up for some of this stuff, but my goodness, what are they doing? This is a bad, bad, bad marketing to me. This is really bad marketing to me. So I signed up with Dossier on the 15th because I wanted to purchase from them. If you don't know, Dossier does like more designer inspired fragrances for a cheaper price. And I was really interested in getting the Lalabo Centaur 33 cent. So I was looking for some deals and I went on their site and I saw that you could sign up and most brands do this where if you sign up with your email, you will get a discount. So I was like, great. It said, sign up for emails, get discounts. I type my email in and then next it says to get your discount, put your phone number in. So I was like, oh, that's kind of scammy. That's a little scammy, but okay, <laughs> fine. I want a deal. You want my number. We're going to make a transaction right now. So I do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I do that. This is like, should have been my first sign. Actually, I had a couple first signs because I've gotten some emails from them in the past as well because of my channel and stuff. And I had to say yes to opt in. So I text them a little why. And this is what they sent me. Welcome to the Dossier family. Start building your dream perfume collection starting at $29. Enjoy up to 35% off. No code necessary. And I'm sitting here like, so I just gave you my email to get a discount, which then you were like, no, actually give us your phone number and then we will text you the discount. 
discount. And then I do that. And then you text me saying that the discount is already on the site, which I did see, but I thought maybe you could stack discounts because sometimes with like introductory offers or whatnot, they let you do that. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna see this through. Kind of tricky, kind of tricky personally to me. You know, you guys can interpret that as you will. And if it ended there, fine. And this is the thing that sucks. This is the thing that sucks is like, I have gotten my perfumes and I like them. I love the one that's supposed to be the dupe for the Santal 33. I think that the Jo Malone one that's like dupe for wood, sage and sea salt. I also think that's good. I love the branding, like the branding on the site, like the way it looks. <laughs> Let's get that clear. I think it's really clean looking. I loved the way that they were shipped to me. Like so much about the brand has some awesome stuff. So it's really disappointing to see this side of it is just like, intense and insane. So anyway, that was on the 15th. Then I get a text message on the 16th, letting me know about the same stuff over and over. Scent first, brand second. Find your luxury quality scent today without the brand markup. Get your classic fragrance for 29 or 39. And this is the thing, I bought from them. So they send me this stuff, no thank you text. No like, hey, thanks for your purchase. Hope you love it. We'd love to see what you did. Nope, that's not coming through. They just keep trying to sell me every single effing day in my text messages. And I want to remind you, this is a perfume brand, okay? A perfume brand. How many people are buying multiple perfumes over and over and over constantly? No one. This isn't like a cookie brand where you bought your cookies, you ate them, and now you're like, mm, I want some more cookies, and you go get more cookies. No. <laughs> Perfumes, I'd love to know when was the last time you used up a perfume? How long did that take you? <laughs> because it takes a long time, seriously. And on top of all of that, they have, I think like 17 fragrances for women currently, and they have like maybe 12 or something for men. They only have like 27 fragrances. I feel like the amount of text that I'm getting doesn't even match the amount of products I potentially could buy from you, seriously. I don't know if they need to change their algorithm and figure out like, oh, if someone's made a purchase from us, let's back off them a little bit more. But even the people who haven't, stop scaring them away from a million text messages. It feels slightly desperate. <laughs> it feels kind of harassy. It's just, Oh, it's just an odd choice to me. It's so odd that I'm like sitting here baffled as to why someone would choose to do this as a marketing ploy. I'd love to know the statistics if it actually is working. Maybe I'm just over here too sassy for this, but ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna put up a little chart here. <laughs> to show you how many times I have been contacted by Dossier since I signed up and made my purchase with them. It's a lot, it's a lot. So on the 15th, you can see that the X marks the spot, that's the day um, <laughs> that we started this tumultuous relationship. Then on the 16th, I got two text messages. The 17th, I got an email. The 18th, no contact. Wow, I felt ghosted, honestly. Then on the 19th, I got a text. The 20th, I got a text. The 21st, I got a text. The 22nd, I got a text. This is not even Black Friday yet. That's next weekend. That is so much, you guys. The 23rd, I got a text. The 24th, I got a text. Ooh, Wednesday, again, the 25th. Maybe on Wednesdays, that person takes the day off. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the 26th, I got two. The 27th, I got two. The 28th, the 29th, the 30th. On the 1st, nothing. On the 2nd, the 3rd, I haven't got a text today, but I'm waiting. It's been a lot, you guys. It's been a lot of text messages and to tell me uh, basically the same things. Now, like I mentioned with the glam light, I feel like those may way more sense. Each box that came out, it was coupled with a picture. It felt more like, hey, we know you signed up for this and we think that this might be something that interests you. Just wanted to let you know this is happening. That makes sense to me. Once again, I understand what I'm signing up for with, e with text messages. I do. But this does not feel like what makes sense to me. Like this seems so odd. So let me read you some of these text messages. On the 19th, they let me know that only once a year there you can enjoy 45% off site-wide. All perfumes available for shipping from $29. Buy six for $96 only in all caps, which <laughs> remember, six perfumes. That's a lot. I think buying three perfumes at one time, even if they are more inexpensive, which is the reason you'd be buying them, um, is so that you don't spend a lot of money, not actually spend $96. 
Anyway, it feels like a lot, <laughs> you guys. Six perfumes, have you ever bought six perfumes in one go? I'd love to know, let me know if you have. That just seems like a lot of perfume at one time and $96, almost $100, although if you break that down like per perfume, isn't too bad. That is still a lot of stuff, unless you're buying them for gifts, seriously, kind of weird. They also make it seem like that's gonna be the best time to buy this, like only once a year, but it's not. On Thanksgiving, I get a message from them that they're offering 50% off because you 100% deserve it. Get six cents from only $87. So they did offer a better deal, like almost $10 more off, and they say that only happens once a year. So what's up with that? And I have all the proof here to see see what the best deals were and when they were. We make fragrance easy, order online, enjoy Black Friday. Now for Black Friday stuff, I kind of get it, but there were no new launches. They did let me know about a few restocks, but <laughs> I just don't believe you, honestly. I just don't. It's too much, you guys. It's too freaking many texts. Nothing different. Like all of these are just like reworded. It's like someone had homework and everyone copied it but changed up a few words. That's what every single one of these text messages is to me. There doesn't seem to be anything authentic about it. It feels desperate. It feels just so like, I honestly feel like the next text message I'm gonna get from them is like, hey, where's your wallet? Like, you don't have to move, we'll go grab it, don't worry, like, damn, damn. Can you guys try to make it a little bit more about perfumes? Like, here's some advice I guess I have. I don't think they're gonna be watching this, but I really feel like for any brand who's gonna be doing this, I think it's like, I get you wanna sell stuff. That's not my issue. <laughs> the issue is not the selling part necessarily. It's just like, this doesn't feel like you're catering to perfume lovers who want to maybe get a better deal on perfume or something. This feels like you're just gonna break people down. I f oh. Can you tell I have issues with it? Can you tell I have issues? I think it would be great if they wanted to send a lot of text messages. First off, let's make it not only about the same deal over and over. Like, yeah, I know you texted me yesterday, bitch. I know that you have a sale going on. If I wanted to go, I would go to it. Do you have something else to offer? Do you have something else to tell me about? Is there an actual new fragrance? I think that's something. It's like if I actually followed the link through all these and bought the six perfumes over and over, I don't think I would have stopped getting the text messages. I think that still would have been happening and I would have still been bombarded over and over and over again, even though it's like at that point, there wouldn't even be new perfumes for me to purchase. You don't even offer enough product for this to make sense, for this amount of texting to make sense at all. And not to mention all the emails that I get alongside these. I feel like like I'm being inundated with dossier stuff every single day, which is obviously their point, what they want, but it's having the wrong effect. I can tell you that for me, <laughs> it's like, damn, let your products speak for themselves. I thought they came really nice. Again, they smell really nice. Everything about them feels great. But this part of your marketing scheme to get people in, to get people to buy, it's like have a little confidence <laughs> in your product for like two seconds, please. I think it'd be cool if they sent little like quizzes or articles about perfumes or scents that are really popular right now. If they kind of had a blog attached to Dossier that was doing that so they could obviously keep linking Dossier, that's fine, I get it. It's not about like just everyone's perfume. Perfume, but that could be a way that you could be texting people, you know, weekly even or whatever, along with sale things that is offering something a little bit more, selling a little bit more of a fantasy. I know for some people the fantasy is getting a deal and that could sometimes be me, but when you text this much, it doesn't feel like it's a deal anymore. It feels like this is just your normal thing. It's like, oh, you're one of those brands who constantly has deals and constantly is saying, this is the best time, this is the best time, that now like your word means nothing, it's just watered down into nothing. Um, and that's kind of how I feel, you guys. I know. Um, I'd love to know. <laughs> I know it's like okay. This is like a weird ass video, and I understand that. But I would love to know do you guys sign up for the text messages? Do you like the text messages? What brands do you feel like are doing it right if you found some that have? I think I'm at the point I'm just probably gonna delete them all. I definitely did this for Black Friday, and that could be a bit of a skew on some of the numbers here. I will give that to this. But still, like, damn. It is a lot. Dossier needs to get it together, honestly. Calling you out by name. Just believe in your freaking products and stop with this foolishness. It just seems so odd that that's like a choice. Like someone has to be making a choice for how many of these are going out. And it just seems like such an odd 
one. It seems like such an odd one. Also, it's like I bought from you, yo. And I brought up the Spectrum thing because this is how Spectrum is too. I don't know if you live in California, but it's ridiculous. We buy from Spectrum. We are literally Spectrum customers. We pay them monthly for our internet service and they will send you advertisement after advertisement after advertisement begging you to sign up with them. And you're like, <laughs> I am signed up with you, what the heck? And then it got started getting so weird, they would send you things that you couldn't tell were Spectrum and they were all in different formats. Some look like credit cards, some look like coupons, some look like letters from your family. Like they started getting so creative on it to like get you to open it, to tell you to sign up. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm already signed up. I'm a paying customer and you send me my bills every month. <laughs> Anyway, I'd love to know any of your thoughts on this. Uh, I wanted to just do something a little bit more fun today and, uh, <laughs> and just share some of my thoughts on these text messages gone crazy. And also warn you, don't sign up for the text messages from Dossier specifically, and probably any of them if you're trying not to shop. You really don't need any of this shit, and um, I'll leave it there. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.